Hello. Today we are talking about Husqvarna Automower Robotic Lawnmower cable breaks and how to find them. Usually when there is a cable break, blue blinking light is illuminated by charging station LED. When there is a solid green light illuminated, this means that for charging station boundary wire resistance is up to 20 ohms and boundary should be good. With some type of models, if the boundary wire resistance is between 20 and 50 ohms, solid blue light is illuminated. This means that um, boundary wire may or may not work. Next, grab yourself a multimeter and put one probe on one side of boundary wire. Boundary wire is the one which comes from the side and put other probe to other side of the boundary wire. The ones which are coming from the in the middle are the guide wires. And uh, then put multimeter into resistance reading mode and take a measurement. As of right now, this measurement shows me almost 600,000 ohms. So this is too high for robotic lawnmower to operate. And it's pretty easy to find this break because the resistance is so big. If you know where your guide wire uh, connects to the boundary wire, then you can divide uh, boundary wire into sectors. So first sector is from the right side of the boundary wire to the one guide, then one from one guide to another guide, and then the from the second guide again back to the boundary wire. So we have here at the moment three uh, sectors, one, two, three, and then take a Again, the same measurement. At the moment, first measurement between right side of the boundary wire and first guide showed, shows me very high resistance. So next we put this probe on a second guide and as you can see between first and second guide we have very low resistance, almost 5 ohms. This means that, first of all, guides are fine. And second of all, between guide 1 and guide 2, boundary wire is good. And thirdly, we take a measurement between guide 2 and left side of the boundary wire. And as you can see, this is also good. So all we have to do if we if we are looking for a cable break is to search it between uh, guide 2 where it connects to the boundary wire and right side of the boundary wire. Next, uh, turn on uh, charging station and connect troublesome uh, boundary wire lead to the AR or right side of the boundary wire terminal here. All the other terminals keep open or unconnected. This gives us the best result of finding or pinpoint out where the cable break is only use this AR or right terminal. Next, grab yourself a handheld radio, pull the antenna all the way out, uh, put the radio in MW or medium wave band, sometimes it's called AM or amplitude modulation. Tune it as low frequency as possible, in my case it's approximately 530 kilohertz 
uh, then turn the radio on, adjust the volume and then try to hold the antenna parallel with the troublesome um, boundary cable. It gives you a better understanding where signal starts to fade. If it fades uh, where boundary wire turns towards um, island, this indicates that the uh, brake is on an island or inside the parallel cables which um, lead to an uh, island. When you go along uh, the troublesome cable, at first the signal is pretty strong. Once you come near to the cable brake, the signal starts to fade out. So you have to adjust volume up, all the way up. And then the signal starts to fade pretty fast. And as you can see, at this point, we can still listen to this signal, but here you can't. And there is the cable brake. So accuracy is one meter. Some people can say that this is very uh, easy to find brake because resistance is so high. But let's say the resistance in boundary wire is uh, 56 ohms. So robotic lawnmower is not operating. The resistance is too high, but some current and signal is passing through boundary wire, so it's pretty difficult to find with this radio. First of all, make sure that the um, uh, multimeter reads right. To do that, take one of the probes and short it out with another one. Whatever it reads, you have to sub subtract this measurement with uh, actual reading to be precise. Next, find a car battery which has a starting amps at least 500 amp amps. This one has 800 amps. If it's lower than 500, you might fry your battery. And then connect the troublesome leads. One lead to the battery positive and another one the battery negative. At, at the moment we are, I'm using uh, starter crocodiles because the car battery is inside uh, the car and make sure all the other guide wires and everything are disconnected and the charging station is out of, out of the way and not connected and then connect one side of this crocodile to battery positive and lastly lastly the this side to battery negative to short this uh, 50 ohm uh, circuit and burn the most tr troublesome place down if uh, this method doesn't work and the uh, circuit resistance stays the same this means that the um, voltage is too low and you need to increase the voltage. Uh, one method to do it is to use 24 volt uh, battery or put multiple car batteries in series. If there is a break in the guide then some models um, charging station LED flashes yellow. Uh, to be sure of that, that one of the guides is missing, is to press and hold down number zero for a couple of seconds, then choose info, then choose loop, then press arrow to the right, and as you can see, G1, which translates guide one, is signal strength is almost zero. This, this means that uh, G1 is missing. And if you are 
having problems with the guide wires, then apply the same method of searching the cable break as with a bounder wire.